Alston Godbolt with part two in a, I don't know, infin infinite amount uh, series that uh, discusses my successes, failures with Project 24 um, slash Income School and the startup um, reseller business that I am launching. Um, so as I mentioned, the plan is to do one of these short videos, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, Monday will cover uh, Monday will cover Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday will cover Monday, Tuesday, and then Friday will cover um, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. So over the last few days, basically what I have done to help grow the business um, over the weekend. So this is going to go back kind of far um, over the weekend. Actually, let's not do that. Um, let's talk a little bit about Project 24 as a whole. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I think I've made like a dollar and 25 cents, we'll say, through, um, through uh, AdSense, which is Google's advertising wing. Um, y yesterday, I went through... Um, I, I realized that I, I have a bunch of affiliate links with Amazon um, and I realized I had a bunch of clicks so maybe a week or two ago, but I didn't have any sales. Um, and so I went and I checked those links and actually noticed a lot of those links were broken. So what you make sure that you um, are what I have now decided to do is at least once a month, go back in and verify that all of those links are active. Um, thankfully, Amazon has a nice tool that you can go through in Amazon Associates, Amazon Associates dashboard and where you can check and make sure all of your links are active. So I just went back and I did that um, and I updated all my links to make sure that they are still all affiliate links. Um, but what am I doing for Project 24? Um, at the beginning of, well, at the very tail end of January, they launched this project called um, the Warrior, Warrior Challenge. Basically, with the Word Challenge, is you're supposed to get 60,000 words. Um, that can be a combination of uh, blog posts as well as uh, YouTube videos. Uh, 60,000 pieces of content for your uh, website. Um, so, in order to kind of try and make that, um, I have um, done a few different things to try and and, and get to that 60,000. Now, once you get to 60,000, you get a little badge that will go next to your username. If you um, only, it's only available for Project 24 users or members. Um, if you meet the 60,000 or above, you get the um, you get this badge that you can that you can have attached next to your name. Uh, so it's kind of like a um, subtle bragging that you've uh, achieved 60,000 words um, for for you to grow your business. Um, I believe that I, I'm probably around 15,000 words. And that's kind of, that was actually because of a big push um, over the weekend. Um, so over the weekend, I uploaded four posts for my uh, my my newest blog blog site. Um, I had I did uh, two or three YouTube videos for my primary site. Um, I actually wrote one or two um, one or two posts for the primary site, and then I had um, I contracted out a. a, a uh, I contracted out a, a blog post, actually two blog posts, one through um, text UN, text on, I don't know how to pronounce it, and um, another through this, this person that I referenced um, in the last video. So I, I believe I'm at like 17,000 um, 17, words. Uh, it will be a struggle to get to 60,000 because that basically means that you're doing like 2,200 words a day. Um, which is totally doable. It just takes dedication. And so the, this is the first time that I, since I've been a part of Project 24, I, I joined way back September 7th of 2018. This is the first time that they're doing something like this, which is a little bit different. Um, and it's like a, you know, a short-term motivator, but long-term, you're going to have 60,000 words, um, 30 pieces of content to help grow your business, um, which is, which is great. You know, instead of worrying about 
doing backlinks or doing some of the, you know, gray hat, white hat, black hat, gray hat type stuff. You're just focusing, putting out very good content um, in hopes that eventually Google will not recognize you. Uh, you'll get recognized on something like Pinterest or, or somewhere else or even YouTube. Um, and then your, your business will grow and explode. Um, so that's really it. I had said yesterday that I was going to write a write a blog post. I wound up not doing that uh, because I got bogged down with, with something else. Um, I actually, and this is trivial when you think about it, I went back and I fixed my menu. Um, I actually cleaned it up a little bit so that it's easier to navigate. Um, I had, that wound up taking longer than expected. And then I also was having some other issues with... Um, Name Hero. Name Hero I'm using as my my hosting service now. Um, so those two things really got me bogged down a little bit for whatever reason. Um, so I wasn't able to do the writing um, today. Actually, I'll talk about today on Friday. But um, so that's a little bit about the um, the, the the quote unquote passive income. Um, it's funny when, when you think of the word passive, you think, hey, you set it and forget it like that old infomercial. Um, but in reality, it's you work very hard in the short term or in the near term, and then you hope that it reaps the benefits later. And that's kind of what, what this whole Project 24 idea is about. You work really hard for um, probably six months, I would say, and then you slowly you start to see um, you start to see success or rewards or, or whatever. Um, I still haven't made pizza day. I'm hoping that pizza day comes this month, uh, so that I'm on track for the, the, t the timeline. Um, the, um, mentors, the owners of project 24, once you sign up, they provide you with like an overall timeline. Obviously they can't guarantee the, um, your, your success will be along that same timeline, but it would just be nice to show proof to friends and family that, hey, me working as hard as I am is going towards something. Because uh, right now you're just kind of, you're just kind of out there. <laughs> you're kind of like hoping and wishing. Um, so that's that. And then with the uh, web hosting business, I need to come up with a better game plan to reach out with to clients or potential clients. Um, I think one of the things that's holding me back is I used to work, I used to work in a call center. So, um, one of the things I hated doing was, was getting inbound calls, uh, cause people were usually always angry. And then I also worked at DeVry and when you work at DeVry, you have to make calls all day. If you're not meeting with students, you're making calls. And so that kind of makes you jaded. Um, you kind of go in expecting that people are going to be angry or, you know, they, don't want to hear from you. And so that's something that's, that's probably like a mental block that I need to get over, uh, making phone calls, reaching out to people is something that's going to have to happen if, if this business is successful. Right now, the business is, uh, in the negative. Um, that's because, you know, you spent money on hosting and, uh, building the website and things like that. But, you know, it, it would be, it wouldn't be too difficult to, um, turn this thing around a couple sales, um, here and there. Like I said, my, my goal for the, by the end of March is to have, um, five, five new clients, five websites for somebody that would actually, um, look really good for my portfolio. Um, I think that would also help with the referral program. Uh, one thing that I do offer to all clients is I do offer, uh, $50 off of their, um, of their bill, their, their annual bill. If they refer someone to me and they start, um, start hosting, uh, with us. So, um, that's, that's another incentive for, for my, my, my clients is, you know, bring somebody else aboard. That'll reduce your, your yearly or annual bill. Um, so th that's it. Um, developing a game plan to reach out to, um, clients with the web hosting business. I, I've got to make those phone calls. Um, I've got to do the research. One thing that I, I do find, um, that I like is, is going through reviewing websites, um, looking to see where there's possibly opportunities to make things, um, better. A lot of websites are older and outdated. Um, I'm noticing that a lot of websites aren't mobile friendly. And so basically what that means is the website that it looks like on the desktop is kind of shrunk 
to look like um, something similar on, on, on a mobile device, which isn't a great user experience. Um, it just can be difficult for for people to see things. Usually all the wording is squished. You have to like expand with your fingers and all this other stuff. So that can't be, that's not great. Um, I think there's some real opportunity in the Kenosha area, uh, Kenosha Racine, Northeastern Illinois, to um, to do some good work building websites for people. Um, I think that that's an awesome opportunity that um, it just it just takes, I would say it takes a little bit of effort um, and breaking down some of those barriers. Um, also, I have decided to widen my net a little bit. Uh, I think in the previous video, I talked about restaurants. Uh, going forward, I'm going to also target some other um, uh, segments or, or uh, business types as well. I don't really want to divulge that just yet, uh, but I think, like I said, there's a lot of opportunity um, to be had. Uh, so going forward, my plan for the rest of this week uh, to get a number of blog posts. I really need to get blog posts up for my uh, fourth site. Um, continue putting up YouTube videos. I want to get probably another three or four videos um, for my first site up. Uh, what I do is I, I put, um, I, I create a bunch of videos in advance and then I release them uh, Monday and Wednesday of every week. And so that way, you know, that's kind of, again, that set it and forget it, um, all about time management. These videos um, on this page get uploaded and, and are available right away. On my other sites, they're usually a little bit of a delay. Uh, so I need to get a bunch of those done for my first site. Um, and I need to just keep writing for my um, for my other two sites so that uh, hopefully, hopefully, quote unquote, the seeds are planted and, and they turn into something that, again, is passive and... Um, and is successful. Um, what success for me with regard to those those passive that the, the extra revenue streams would be uh, the first site pays for um, all of the other sites. So um, my first site would be making enough generating enough income where I could reinvest that big back into sites two, three, and four where I could just hire writers, and then those sites eventually start paying for themselves. And then um, I can possibly launch more sites. Uh, maybe do the, the, the site that I mentioned um, yesterday with the, the Amazon Web Services. So that's really the goal um, is to get the first site big enough where they, it can start paying for um, itself and, and all of the other sites. So I think that's it. Um, like I said, I want to try and keep these videos to around 10 minutes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a ton of things to tell you to make it go a little bit longer, uh, but I am going to keep grinding away and um, hopefully something positive will happen. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you have any comments, uh, definitely leave them below. Um, like, subscribe. I think I'm going to I'm going to try and do this as long as I can until I run out of stuff to say. All right. So thanks for watching.